Sometimes setting your movie in Nazi Germany just isn't enough. Sometimes you actually have to tell an interesting story. The Book Thief is another year-end Oscar contender starring Jeffrey Rush and Emily Watson as the adoptive parents of a Russian girl in Nazi Germany and the way the war impacts their lives and relationships. The story comes from a best-selling young adult novel of the same name, and though I hate to say it, maybe this is a story that should have stayed on the page. Some books just don't translate well to the screen, and this might be one of them. There's so much of this movie that failed to connect for me. Let's start with the narrator, who in this case is a wise-cracking version of the Angel of Death. Though I'm sure the premise of having death narrate your tale is captivating and clever in the novel. In the movie, it's a jarring experience to have this supernatural narration in an otherwise grounded tale. Every time the narration kicked in, I felt like I was in a different movie. Though I'm sure the filmmakers felt handcuffed to the idea, as was likely such a large part of why people like the book. But as far as I'm concerned, it just didn't work on screen. Another disconnect was in the way the movie handled language. It got very confusing why the characters were speaking and writing in English, and then every once in a while tossing out German words in songs. Again, the story is so tied to the theme of the written word that I understand why it was a difficult transition, but it made it so much harder to buy into what was happening. It's as if the movie couldn't help but remind me every once in a while that this wasn't a real world, despite desperately trying to convince me of that in so many of the other moments. The worst part is that I didn't even find the theme about words and the way we use them to be fully understandable or cohesive, which is a problem when the emotion of your movie rests in conveying that theme. All of that disconnect ends up making what should be a powerful setting seem mundane and even boring, which is really sad because it wastes some really good performances. The main girl, I think her name's Sophie Nalise, has a really great screen presence and joy to her, and Jeffrey Rush, who I think is the best thing about this movie, is stunning on screen as a man dealing with what it means to be a human being in Nazi Germany. And to be honest, even though I got lost in the metaphor a bit, I know there's something valuable here about using our words to write life instead of death. I just wish they had found a way to translate that message in a more comprehensible way. At the end of the day, I get the sense that The Book Thief is a wonderful novel with some interesting and compelling ways to communicate its story. If only the movie version could have stolen some of that life, maybe it wouldn't have seemed so dull and unmoving. I give it a C. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. Stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. First, I'm gonna put up some stuff here you can click on over in this area. If you wanna subscribe, very much appreciate that. You can do that by clicking on the big gray subscribe button. If you wanna see more reviews, you can click over here to see uh, reviews of the Oscar hopeful Philomena, the latest Jason Statham action flick Homefront, or the Coen Brothers' latest Inside Lewin Davis. You can also click right up here, this logo, to go to yourmoviefriend.com where you can search by title for reviews. And finally, this review's best ever challenge where you name the best Best movie ever in a particular category also try to identify my choice. This time you must name the best movie ever set in World War II. Mine featuring, uh, features yodeling goats, as should all war movies I think. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments and the first person to get mine right gets a point. Also, don't forget to subscribe.